All right. Um, so ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to be doing is now we're going to be solving a systems of equations by algebraically. So previously, what we did in this class is we, um, uh, we worked on graphing the systems. And you could easily graph these two systems. But you know, a lot of times, you could see we both have solved for y. And you know, not always is the solution point going to be um, very exact. So another thing we can do is, is using algebraic methods. And the first method we're going to talk about is substitution. Now, I always like to apply substitution, because you can use substitution or elimination um, for any system of equations. But I like to go by the rule of I use substitution whenever I have a variable that has a coefficient of 1 or negative 1. And in this case, you guys can see that here I have a coefficient that has 1, and here I have a coefficient that has negative 1. So I'm going to want to decide to solve for one of those. All right. Um, now, it's probably easiest. The reason why we like having a coefficient of 1 is because it's very easy to solve for the variable. So the first step, what you're going to do, is basically solve for the variable. Does everybody understand? Solve for that variable. Okay. So for instance, again, you want to choose the variable that has a coefficient of choose the variable that has a coefficient of 1. So to solve for this, I add 3y. So I have x equals 3y plus 2. Does everybody see what I did? I took the top equation, and I solved for the variable that had a coefficient of 1. What are you looking for, Ryan? OK. Are you on this right now? I would just be focused on you're not. I'd just be focused on this. I'll get you set up with that in just a second. Does everybody understand what I did for step one? Okay, so that's step one right there. Step two. Plug in value of variable to the other equation. And so what I mean by that is an example. If I had a, if I said 2a plus c, and I said a equals um, 5 and c equals 7, and I said find the value of that expression, then Faith, what do you do with the values of 5 and 7? You plug them in for a and for c, and then you evaluate, correct? But in this case, our, va our variable does not equal a number. Our variable equals an expression. Do you see that, Emily? Yeah. It's very, very important for you guys to see that. The variable equals an expression. So just like how you guys did here, you're gonna, what I said is plug in the value of the variable. Well, the value of my variable is 3y plus 2. And you plug it into the other equation. So the other equation is right here. right? So I'm going to plug in the value of x into this equation. So therefore, I write negative. Instead of x, I write the value of x which is an expression, 2y equals 5. That is step number two. I lost you? OK. Do you understand if I, if I gave you this example, a equals 5, c equals 7, and I said evaluate this, you would plug in what the value of a is, and you'd plug in what the value of c is. Do you agree with kind of that? So, yeah, I agree with that. OK. Well, we're not getting rid of x. We solve for x. You've, you, under, you got that, right? So now what I'm saying is x equals 3y plus 2. What if, what if I said this? You'd probably like this. What if I just said x equals 7? Then you could plug 7 in for x into this other equation, right? Right. But now x doesn't equal number. x equals an expression. The expression is 3y plus 2. So instead of plugging in a number in for x, you're going to plug in the expression. So now we apply distributive property. So I have negative 3y minus 2 plus 2y equals 5. Now remember, you have, the same you have the same variable on the same side. So you can combine like terms, right? We don't add, subtract on the same side. We just combine like terms. So negative 3y plus 2y is negative y minus 2 equals 5. Now I add 2. Negative y equals 7. Divide by negative 1. Divide by negative 1. 
y equals negative 7. Remember, guys, when we were graphing these, they had intersection points, right? They crossed at a coordinate point. So this gra these two graphs cross when y equals negative 7. But they also, remember, a coordinate point has an x and a y value, right? Coordinate point. So we need to figure out what x is. So now I take the value of y, and I'm going to plug it back in to my equation. So I plug it into there. Um, now I plug in the value of So we, so we plugged it in, we solved. Now I'm going to take the plug in the value of my solved variable into the other equation. So now, step three is I take y equals negative 7, and I plug that in for y. So x equals 3 times 3y plus 2. Now x equals 3 times negative 7 plus 2 x equals 3 times negative 7 is negative 21, plus 2. x equals negative 19. So now that's my x value, and that's my y value.